Eyewitnessnews.com. Eyewitness News webcast. Hello, everyone. I'm Minerva Perez with some of the headlines making news this Friday, February 16th. A Wharton teenager killed during a police raid earlier this week will be laid to rest today. 17-year-old Daniel Castillo Jr. was shot on Tuesday morning when officers raided his parents' home looking for drugs. No drugs were found in the home. The officer who shot the teen is on paid administrative leave as the incident is investigated. Police had to use spike strips to stop a driver who led them on a high-speed chase in southwest Houston overnight. The chase lasted about an hour or half an hour and went through several neighborhoods in the 4th Ward and West Houston. Police began chasing the car after a license plate check showed it had been stolen. After the car stopped, the driver bailed out, but officers found him with the help of a police chopper. The Texas Department of Transportation will close down Highway 59 at, at State Highway 99 starting at 9 o'clock tonight. Also known as the Grand Parkway, Highway 99 will also be closed down at the intersection. Work crews will demolish the 99 overpass. The closure will last through 5 o'clock Monday morning. Prepare for major delays in that area. Robin Troop, the local teen who won a national contest to sing with Justin Timberlake at the Grammys, is back in Houston this morning. A welcome home rally is planned for the young singer, who will also visit her alma mater, Jay Yates High School, where she will be recognized for her achievements there. Troop won a recording contract with Timberlake as part of the contest. And coming up later, a new study from the University of California reveals a disturbing disturbing trend. The number of kids abusing over-the-counter cold medicines has skyrocketed in recent years. Find out the reasons why and the life-threatening dangers children face. I'm Minerva Perez. Thanks for watching. We'll have another update for you coming up at 1 o'clock. Have a great day.